was impressed by that old man's missing fingers. He was not an ex-combatant, but one of the war children raised in a lost village, playing among this colored stuff in the 1940s or 1950s. Don't mess with that grenade. And three of these fingers were missing, and, and that was a warning. Don't mess with bombs. So I, I spent every summer in my grandparents' house, close to where the Euro battle took place in 1938. Uh, so battle debris could be still be found back there in the fields and woods, and, and I couldn't resist those interesting spent rounds and sharp no. And of course, I left unexploded grenades alone. Uh, I saw one of Amilcar Barca's videos here, uh, where he showed his great grandfather's helmet in World War I, uh, where he served as a doctor. And I, I was really impressed by the story. So, this video is the start of a project, and this prologue is, uh, is of course dedicated to this great modeler. So, uh, I didn't come across this helmet myself haunting the Ebro Valley. Uh, in fact, my uncle found it back in 1970 while he was looking for mushrooms in the woods. Yeah. That's something we do here in the northeast. We are mushroom hunters, but above all, we are mushroom eaters. Uh, we hunt and eat uh, scargots as well, snails. So well, yeah, no, nobody's perfect, you know. Uh, this helmet came into my hand in the early '80s due to my insistence. I insisted and insisted, and this helmet was found uh, relatively close to the Republican Observatory bunker in the River Ever sector. It's an auto helmet, the 1935 German model, and um, these helmets were sent to the nationalist side by Germany in 1937. So this helmet probably belonged to one of the nationalist soldiers that assaulted that area, and it came to me completely rusted, and I cleaned it and left it in this present condition, as you can see. Uh, the leather straps have disappeared as a result of 30 years of exposure but uh, the steel quality is, is amazing, looks almost almost new okay my interest for this war uh, was a reason by the stories that I heard from my grandparents and as you know the war started in 1936 and ended in 1939 just before the start of World War II and Hitler and Stalin took a special interest in this war, and of course they took positions. Um, they rehearsed tactics and weapons in Spain for what was coming. So the civil war is a controversial issue still today, because many atrocities were committed by both sides. Both right and left extremes didn't leave place for democracy, and even a civil war occurred inside the civil war. But the consequences were terrible and one generation was lost. One million people died and once the Republic lost the war, executions and prosecutions went on during Franco's dictatorship. So in 1976, with the return of the monarchy, the Spanish political parties uh, sealed a pact by which uh, the past had to remain sealed uh, in order to, to build a new democracy. Well, with this project I intend to upload modeling works related to the Spanish Civil War. Each work will have a specific date and a short historical reference, and the whole thing will function like a puzzle. I don't know how many pieces there are going to be, it, it has not a limited frame. Well, I hope you like this bit, and your comments and ideas are more than welcome. I'll try to keep objectivity in this topic with a historical approach, so I'll refrain myself from giving strong political opinions, and I ask you to do that the same. So extremist or aggressive comments will be removed. So, thank you guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye.